Yeah, so the young man from Singapore is continuing his form. This has been a very nice effort indeed in rap one. Oh my, that was unexpected to say the least. What a nice opportunity for Geronimo. Yeah, and that's going to test his metal a bit now moving forward because when you miss a ball like that, that's worrying. Rodrigo Geronimo. He's going to steal this opening rack. That he is, Rodrigo Carl. Geronimo wins the first rack. He would like an angle on this purple to ease traveling up for the green six. It does look like he's fallen a bit straight, Carl. So he'll have to possibly accept a, a bit more work or let his stroke out. See what he chooses. Well, he tried to cheat the pocket there and draw back to the rail and out. And a lovely sight for Yap. So both players missing an easy ball. I mean, he's cued that terrible, it has to be said. I'm sure there's going to be plenty of drama as this unfolds. Well, a welcome sight for Rodrigo Geronimo. Naturally, that ball just hung up in the jaws. Take another look at it here. Reminder of these four and a quarter inch pockets, Carl Kelly. They're tight. And try and get this. He'd love to just miss the seven ball kicking from behind. And try and get the two on the top rail. There's always a chance that can happen when you're kicking that way, so he will have known that. On that shot, the worst of it is when it hits the jaw and comes back. That's uh, every player's worst nightmare from that shot, and it's a danger. Kelly, do you like a slow roll here of sorts? It's Never really like a slow roll, to be <laughs> honest with you. <laughs> no, it makes it a lot more difficult um, I think he's gonna have to play it with power yeah yeah very well said and as he circumvented the black eight ball it is close I believe he has what a beauty that was Carl yeah that was a absolute exhibition shot there from Yap because if he hits the five first he might not get a look at this he'd love to just flick the pink four Do you like that for a shot? That was really lovely. Flick it, he did, Carl. The purple five up into the top corner. And I think that might be his best route to come around the angles and play it in that pocket. But no. Yeah. Well, and that's why I'm sat here. <laughs> well, initially, I thought that's what he was playing, but he, he he traveled rather effortlessly just next to the three. And they're all setting nicely now, aren't they? Absolutely. Let's blame the TV monitor that didn't work like we thought, you know? <laughs> it's always the monitor's fault. We, we know this. That's right.
fallen ever so slightly short of the mark. Should be okay. Has to stretch a bit. Beautiful. Geronimo slides into a 4-3 lead. Really touchy here, thus the extension called, giving it the respect it deserves. Anytime you have to cut the initial ball, playing a combination, especially into these devilish pockets, four and a quarter inches, really is hard to convey just how difficult the equipment is here this year. And as you guys said, It's just weird because if he had to pot the four ball and the nine wasn't there, he'd pot it every day of the week, but it's so hard to just pick a point on the object ball. I've tried every method out there and I'm really, you'd think over the longer we play, the, the better we'd get at them and I've just not. <laughs> the best I've ever seen at them is Darren Appleton. Bull Judd and Jack. He is set to play the 5-9 into that same pocket that he missed the 5-9 last rack. Hopefully those demons aren't uh, entering his mind, lining it up intently. Well, he's pretty straight on to it here by the looks of the looks of the angle of his cue there. Yep, nice shot. Bravo. Yep, yeah, ties it up at five-five. He's over this ball awfully quickly. He seems to see the route right away. Beautiful shot. The Filipinos, they are known for their kicking ability. And that was, well, that was right from the top draw, that one. Yeah, that was lovely. That'll work. He can just force this ball over. There you see, nice angle. To leave a simple nine to open up a three, flying off four rails, and then it just rolls it in off one. You know, it shows the confidence to to be willing to settle for this devilish, thin little cut here on the eight. But he was very much respecting that four and a quarter inch pocket that has posed so many problems, especially the sides this week. They're so small. Great little angle here of just how tough this shot is. Has to be struck relatively perfectly. He'll travel back and forth for the nine in the same pocket. And he's just hit that remarkably well. Needs to settle though. It does need to settle. So he's gonna be playing a bank shot, you would think here, into the side pocket. He'll go close to this as well. He will definitely go close to this. Sometimes you do see the nine hit one of the points go up table into the top left. I'm not saying that's going to happen now, but now and again. Is he tying the cut, Carl? No, oh, he's banking it, like you said. Aliushas, <laughs> yes! The crowd liked that one. That they did. In rack 14, Yap has slid into a 9-5 lead. That's the first smile I've seen from the young Singaporean this match. He's serious business, but uh, naturally that. Right so good things can happen. Oof, good call, Carl. He did flirt with that side pocket. And once again, young Aloysius Yap returns to the table. The 9-5 to five lead. Desperate to clear these and find himself on the hill to advance to the semifinals here in the 2021 U.S. Open. Just going to roll this ball in and get the cue ball running in between this little gap. Now, if he's too straight or oh, this is tight in the side, he'll he'll play it up into the top. Playing it up into the top is not the end of the world, but if it goes in the middle at ease, he'll play it in the middle as well. Either or would be fine for Yap. It's an angle. Yeah, yeah. we well, heard that little top top of the chalk. I think he's uh, certainly overhit it to the ideal position they were looking for. He's got some angle though. Let's see what he does with it. 
Do you favor forcing this one, Kelly, or or a high ball? I think he's going to have to. Yeah, I think he's going to force it. Yeah, the tables are playing nice. Um, it was manageable. Nicely struck there. Just going to pop this seven and come over to the side of the table where he stood. See how he uses the second rail there as well. It just shows you that our match can just turn around from one or two little shots. Began with Rodrigo, bad jump. Um, you know, a couple of positional errors. And to be honest with you, Yaps played pretty, very smart, took his chances, but also played great safeties when, you know, he had an option to take on a bit more of a risky pot. So I think he's definitely matured to a great player and plays very smart pull. Well, indeed, Kelly. And with that nine ball down, Al Yusuf like Yap yeah, finds himself on the hill. Above the eight, you're saying, Carl? In between the eight and the side pocket. In between the eight and the side and across for the seven in the bottom right is what Carl is espousing. And that's exactly what Mr. Yap is doing, pleading with the ball to settle with a little tap of the fingers. And he's going to go for a little wipe down. He feels it, Kelly. He's <laughs> so would I breath. be. Yeah. <laughs> you can just tell with the crowd and all, they've really got invested in this match. Each oh, shot, indeed. bank shot, safety shot, they're getting real involved. Oh, beautiful little stroke there. Yeah, this is pretty good for him, yeah. Up slightly high, maybe, just slightly. Come on. He's happy with any angle, as long as it's the right angle this way. <laughs> Slow rolls it in beautifully, a little fist pump there, sigh of relief. He's fallen absolutely perfect on that nine ball. Alyushis Yap onto the semifinals of the 2021 US Open. What a player and frankly, what a match. A few hiccups, but he played great. Continued to show his form, Carl. Yeah, he did indeed. He played a lot of nice safety shots. He stayed patient to the game and the task. Lucius Yap, 25 years of age from Singapore. He's in his first US Open semi-final.